we begin our 9 o'clock hour with co-hosts, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. William? Good morning again, Rob. Good to be here. New York Times bestselling author John Gilstrap. Still here. Still known as Bill and Gill. And then tomorrow, Matt Miller and John Gilstrap are here for Mill and Gill. <laughs> I, I always, always second billing. If we're going alphabetical, it should be Gill and Mill. See, but you look at it as second billing. I look at it as... Chronology. You, you've got to well, go... That, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yours, yours is the last name people hear, though. Oh, okay. Right? Right. You know, I mean, if you do the alphabet and you end with Z, who remembers A at that point? That's he, that's he, absolutely makes no sense at all, but, but, <laughs> but I'll nod here and smile. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you could have said that makes a lot of sense, Rob, and you might have moved up to top billing. But no, you're, it, you're hitting them one, face to face. One of the things that they teach you in, in in business school and management is a system of inventory called last in, first out. Right. So, last in, first out. You are the last name that people hear, and you're the first name out of their mouths because of that. Last in, first out. Lifo. But, it's but, called lifo. I know, but but last in, first out means the first thing never goes out. Last in, first out. Bill and Gill. Everybody remembers okay. the Gill part because it's the last name. People go, hey, who, was, who was co-hosting on the show today? Uh, some guy and then another name, Gill. Yeah. I don't remember the first guy because it was too long ago and, and the way and, they listed the names. And, and Yeah, and the first guy is forgettable. But yeah. not the Gill. Not the Gill. <laughs> the important thing is, John, you agree with me on Chairman Powell. That's true. And we both agree <laughs> war is wrong. With the economy. <laughs> in studio with us, Pastor Tim Greeno from the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission. Tim, always great to see you, sir. And thanks again for having me. God bless you guys and hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And... Uh, we're we're rocking and rolling over there. We got a couple things coming up now. What's coming up uh, this Saturday is our first Love Martinsburg event, where we're going to help remodel that home mm-hmm. here in Martinsburg. And we got a bunch of people coming out. Uh, I think I believe we raised the two thousand um, dollars. I have to check um, to do the remodeling. That's going to take place. We're going to meet in the Mission parking lot at eight o'clock, and then from there we're going to go over to the house, and we're just going to attack it and get it all done. And then next year we plan to do five houses wow. in um, connection with all the different groups. We got all kinds of people coming. Um, well, well, before you go too far down there, uh-huh. I want to I want to back up first and have you update us on what you guys did for Thanksgiving, and um, then we can come back we, to you. We were slammed for Thanksgiving. Uh, we've I I know it was two three hundred or more people we fed just our Thanksgiving dinner. Of course, we serve three meals a day. Right now, we're probably at about 110,000 meals for the year so far that we have served, Amazing. which is way more than uh, its broken record. I think the highest we ever uh, served meals was 86,000. And so now we're way past that, and we're not even... <laughs> We're not even into December yet. Uh, we're just, uh, it's, it's been very busy. We're very blessed with what's going on. Had a very busy time with the Hope House and the Haven House both open. Um, the Haven House uh, 604 project, is that's full. Um, that And it's, it's a challenge working with the families in there. Um, and then the Hope House, which is almost full, um, we have women there, but we also take children. Um, we had a situation... This weekend, where we had to bring in a, a, a mom, a grandma, and two kids out of a tent that they were living in behind the skate park in Martinsburg, and uh, the police were called in, and then I was called in, and then CPS was called in, and um, they're now safe up at the Hope House, and we're working with all that, and it's uh, it's it, we're we're very busy, um, lots going on. Thank God for the Haven House and the Hope House. Pastor Tim, excuse me, say uh-huh. uh, to refresh us. What is a hope? What is Hope House? What is a Haven House? Okay. And what's the difference? When, where are they located? Okay, and what's that, the difference? The, the Haven House used to be the 604 project. Okay, and uh, and that's 604 West King Street. That's the apartments, the six apartments for uh, families that are homeless and in transition. It's, it's transitional housing up to 18 months. That got filled within the first week we were open. We're getting phone calls every day. We do not take a waiting list because I can't promise somebody when that a, a place is going to open and a family can come in. We don't want to do that. Um, that got filled right away. That's the 604 project. And then the Hope House is in Berkeley Springs. That's the women's shelter that we merged with Morgan County. Morgan County merged with us. We took that over. Uh, eventually, our goal up there is to get 8 to 10 acres donated to us. We're looking for those 8 to 10 acres. So if anybody up in that area would want to talk with me give me a call about eight to ten acres because we like to build a permanent facility up there um so we can take small children up there with with you know uh mom and like the situation we had mom grandma the kids 
very, very uh, uh, desperate situation. Uh, so we took them in that night. It was very late at night. Um, got them cleaned up. Uh, got them out of a bad situation. Uh, thanks for the Martinsburg Police Department, who do a great job. Uh, CPS, I, I couldn't do their job if you paid me. Um, and if you paid me a lot, I wouldn't do their job, um, to what they have to deal with. Excuse me, let me k- come back so we uh, mm-hmm. lay the groundwork so people understand. So we have the Hope House, the Haven House, right. uh, both apartments to take care of. Well, the Hope, ha- the Hope House is an open dormitory with, with rooms. Okay. And, that, and it has nine rooms, so we can take nine nine females up there okay. and small children uh the haven house is apartments six okay. apartments and then we have the rescue mission and then we have the rescue that, mission that, and that's, that's the six, men and uh, that's the men and that uh, how many yeah. men can you take? we can take up to 85 men in a crisis 120 and we can feed thousands which we feed every day three meals a day 365 we're never closed yeah. do you feed at the uh, haven house as well yep the people okay. from the haven house come over next door we also to the rescue mission right okay and yeah. then and then the hope house we don't have a kitchen uh, or anything like that the meals are brought into us by volunteers churches individuals families that kind of stuff so we feed the, all those numbers now added to what we feed on a regular basis you've, you've thrown out you've given us a lot of numbers uh, on a daily basis how many people do you feed at the rescue mission i'd say per meal we probably the breakfast is probably about 200 lunch is probably about uh, anywhere close to 400 and dinner could be up to four to five hundred and for thanksgiving how many did you do well uh breakfast i think was a hundred lunch i think was three or four and dinner i think was close to 250 Something like that, yeah. Impressive. Because we do all three meals. Yeah. Uh, we don't, you know. And, and again, I'm not against all these other organizations that come out and serve one meal, and that's it for the year. I'm all for that because it gives us a break. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not against that. But we serve every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 365. We don't just come out one day of the year and here's our meal and, and we go home. Yeah. Uh, it's 365. We're very thankful to the community. We're very thankful to other organizations that do what they do so we can get a break. Um, so we're not in competition with anybody. Um, so, uh, but it, 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 the need, and it's not, and here's the thing, we don't just serve homeless people. We serve people in the community. A lot of uh, families are coming in now. Uh, seniors are coming in to make that uh, end of the month money stretch. And uh, with winter, because the money's spent on heating and other costs, then meals matter. I mean, I get notes given to me. I came in today, my office manager, Sharon, gave me like a stack of notes just thanking us for uh, letting them come in and get meals and, and stretching their money to the end of the month, a lot of seniors. Who's, is that uh, – I don't know if that was someone trying no, to get you, Tim, or not. No, that's yeah. not me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, I'm, oh. not, I'm not that important. <laughs> let's, hey, let's, let's, let's get ahead of this real quick before we ke- before we uh, lose any time on that. But what do you need for Christmas season this year, Tim? Christmas, uh, uh, we, the gifts are on there, and we need gifts for the kids and the families and, um, and for both Haven House and, and Hope House and then also for the men. But the main thing is our finances um, because we did take a big hit opening these two ministries. Um, they, it is it, it does cost because we had to hire staff for up there. Um, we had to hire four staff for up there, two staff for the Haven House, four staff for the Hope House. So that stretched our our uh, almost doubled what we had because we have eight we had eight staff until then, and now we have six. So we have a total of fourteen, and it's amazing. We only have fourteen staff, and look at all we do. Mm-hmm. And and that's what's so great. We have volunteers. We need volunteers. Um, but uh, finances, uh, we really need people to go online and donate or check or give me cash. I'll take whatever. <laughs> where, where, do you, where do you go to donate? Uh, you can go online, martinsburgunionrescuemission.com, hit that button, donate. And you can donate to any one of those uh, areas or just donate to the general fund. Um, you can come in and write a check to the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission and um, help us out and help us end up in the black for the end of the year. Um, Going to the Love Martinsburg project that we got coming up this Saturday, mm-hmm. eight o'clock. That's something that were, uh, was was brought to us by officials from the city and said, "Hey, can you guys do something like this?" And we said yes. And it's a process that is coming along, and we're excited about that because that's going to involve a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. I got moms and dads calling me, "Can I bring my kids?" Sure, can they can paint, they can nail, they can sweep. 
We're going to go in. We're going to do all this stuff. We're going to uh, side the home. We're going to do a bunch of stuff, clean up everything. So that's just another opportunity to serve the community, serve uh, folks that um, low income, uh, veterans that uh, have just uh, a BA check, um, Social Security check, that kind of stuff. We're going to go in and, and uh, target. We, this house we're gonna, is our inaugural house. I can't give out the address. I don't want to do that because I don't want people showing up at this person's house until Saturday. We'll be there Saturday. We invited the newspaper. We invited the press. We invited whoever wants to come out. You just come on out, hang out for a while, hold the garbage bags. We'll be dumped some stuff in it. We clean up. Uh, hold the nail, and I'll, I'll be the hammer. I'll be the guy with the hammer. <laughs> it's not steady, but I'll, I'll get. I'll get. I'll get the nail sooner or later. <laughs> that doesn't go over well the person's hand, though, does it? <laughs> but, but, and 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 also too, I, I want a, sh- a shout out to uh, uh, Jackie Long. I know the last time oh, she was on she, here, she's listening right yeah, now. I know the last time you were, and, and I don't care what Bill says about Jackie. She's a good person. <laughs> she is I know the first time. I, know. <laughs> last time, I, I watched that show the last time they were now on you here. Got yeah. me in real trouble. I know, again, I know. <laughs> but I, I want to shout out to Jackie and then Erica. I can't say her last name, and God forgive me for that, uh, from Rosemont, the principal. And then Hal Van Meter. These folks really stepped up and helped us because we're new to the family thing, the children thing. And, and and that's a whole new area to me. I'm not an expert in getting them into schools, getting them taken care of. Because, you know, we're dealing with families and children in crisis and getting them plugged in. And, you know, I, 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 I emailed you. And, and, Jackie, Bill did say some great things about you. I actually have it in my email. He said very nice things about you. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't know who to get a hold of. And I, and I, uh, I got a hold of Jackie on Facebook. Um, and she responded immediately, and Erica and Hal, and took care of a situation that was not really good, and got things taken care of. And that's, they don't get a lot of credit. I know they get beat up on a lot for all the stuff that goes on, but man, they were there for this one family, and they've and we've had other now because of Jackie. I'm able to plug in and Erica and Hal to other things now that the doors open. I know what door to go through. Um, you know, because when we get these phone calls late at night, 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday night, come Monday morning, we got to get these kids in school. Mm-hmm. You know, they've been intense. They're filthy. They're it just, you trust me, it just rips my heart out when I deal with stuff like that. Um, so when my doctor tells me I need to take some time off, too much stress. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't do what these folks do, and they really stepped up, and uh, they need to be thanked. They do a lot of things behind the scene that people don't see. Uh, the police department, too. I... I Big shout out to the Martinsburg Police Department that came in that night, and they they've come in several other times, and the CPS. I couldn't do what they do. The stuff they see, um, they stepped up and did a lot of stuff. Um, so there, there's so much that we do behind the scenes that people don't know. They think all we do is serve the homeless, and all we do is uh, give them a meal. There's so much we do now with the with the both the Haven House and the Hope House, and we have to interact with so many people. Um, it's amazing. And then this Love Martinsburg, we're now able to help out people stay in their home. Our goal is to keep people in their home. We don't, we don't want more homeless people. Trust me. That's not my goal. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. we, we want people to stay in their home. Go ahead. No, we were talking off air, I believe, about there are essentially tent cities. There are homeless yeah. encampments that yes. are largely invisible to, yes. to people like me who you know, don't know where to look. Uh-huh. Those people obviously need help in terms of everything you've talked about yep. how do they get to you well they they do get to us they they come to us on a regular basis i mean do they walk do they yeah they walk to us to, okay. through the meals and stuff like that um in fact some and i can't say their names some individuals through the years we've gotten to come out of the tent cities and into the mission and they're doing very well um most of the folks that live in the tent cities and i can say this because i deal with it and the police could tell you the same thing I'm not making this up. Most of the people that stay in there are doing drugs. They, 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 they're, they're abusing things or people um, or themselves, and they don't want to be in an environment where there's accountability, there's rules, there's all that kind of stuff. So that's why that's there. I am not a big supporter of people who support that because that's enabling. Um, I just because I see what goes on in those places. I see the results and. I just nobody. I, I mean, I've heard all the arguments. You can tell me, but until you go in and you deal and you pull kids out like I done, you pull people out who've been abused sexually, physically, in all kinds of ways. You're not going to convince me that that what you're doing there is helping. So, anybody. what's the alternative? I mean, what, what do you do with the people who <clears throat> presumably have no alternatives but to live 
in in the tents. Well, they don't have that 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 right there. The premises that you just said, I disagree with. They okay. do have alternatives. They're choosing not to, um, and and society can make it to where they're that they're, the rules, the laws, the stuff. Because number one, they're living on somebody's land illegally. Okay, um, that you know, if they were if if it was their land, they wouldn't be considered homeless. It would be their land. Okay, so they're they're breaking laws or doing things. Things can be taken care of. It's the concept of you take care of little things and then the big things don't right. happen. And so I'm not going to get into all that because there's people out there that want to debate all that. Fine, you you knock yourself out with that. But I'm the one that deals with it on a daily basis. I'm the one that takes the calls. I'm the one that shows up at 10 o'clock at night, gets gets these people into places, takes care of them. The Jackies, the the Erica's, the er- house. Erica Props, by the way, Props, is the name you. you're looking for. Thank you so much, thank Erica John Props. Orson. Yeah, Erica Props. I, I'm so bad at pronunciation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead of growing up in an Italian neighborhood, you, you know, you, you had, you <laughs> it got, didn't you, have a violet in it. That's right. That's right. And you, and you did the hand signals yeah, and everything, yeah. so you didn't have to say all that stuff. But uh, it's the Jackies, the Erica's, the house. I mean, they see the stuff like I see, and it's you know, you can argue all you want about and be theological about it. But when you're actually doing the stuff like we do, and you see the and you see the children, you see the people, you see the you see the molestation, you see the rapes, you see the the beatings, you see all this stuff, you go really. Uh, you, the the rescue mission has had a proud history within Berkeley County for several several decades, but it's my sense, Pastor Tim, that you have elevated it up to another level of involvement than what we had before, and you've done that by incorporating the community and you've encouraged the community to work more in harmony where i i'm not privy privy to saying the same way to the same level you are i suspect we're only scratching the surface yes. of the of the problem yeah. but i do want to commend you for at least scratching the surface and getting the community involved as much as what you have well that's kind words but uh it's it, it's a team effort it's oh a team that's, effort. that's the point and, you're you know, making and, yeah and and, and yeah. that's why it's, you know yeah. the jackies the the erica's the house yeah. they need to be recognized too because and and the police department and see there's so much that as a team uh and that's the thing i you know i played sports i played in championship yeah. teams was in the military and you know yeah, yeah. you it's it, it's you know you accomplish more as a team you know together each uh, a, a person accomplishes more you know and 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 it's when you try to be the lone ranger or you try to you know do the do the piss test to where that's my territory nobody else i mean that that nonsense doesn't work i mean you yeah know. we can talk about martinsburg and berkeley county all day but you're yeah. also going to ukraine yes. hopefully in the next uh near very near future and yes. you've been a couple so times before yes and i have yeah. been asked to come back because uh and and i don't know what you i mean i'm going over for the people that are being killed and slaughtered and the families that are being displaced i'm, I'm not going over for the politics I, that's not my job um but it's going to basically extend uh the missionary i'm working with has been granted some property in moldova if you know the if you know the geographical area moldova sits there it's kind of like a russian uh it's not russian because they got a new person in there but the russians have a strong influence but there's a lot a lot more killings and death now uh, of the soldiers in ukraine and the families are being displaced and the bombings are more targeted towards civilians so uh this missionary has been granted some property to build a refugee uh, place almost like a rescue mission to bring in the families that are being displaced that will probably never get to go back home for years and maybe never um, many of them are women and children because their husbands or fathers and or whatever have been killed in the war or still fighting in the war uh, others are older uh, senior citizens that can't fight in the war so they have to have to set something up because the refugees are just pouring in and so uh, he's asked me to come back over in march uh, it'd be the last week in March, around the 25th, until probably the Easter, uh, as I did last time. Um, I'm going to we'll go over there. I'll be kicking off fundraising again in January to try to raise the money that's needed to go over and help help build this facility. And then, you know, my way over, my way back. <laughs> I want to come back. My wife wants me to come back. <laughs> um, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll go into Ukraine, bring families out again. You know, Odessa. Odessa and, and places like that are, um, are 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 taking hits, and and it's just you know it's it's a bad situation. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, we're probably going to Kyrgyzstan, which was really bad area, and and Nikolai. So, uh, well, you know, we'll be back in the war zone again. I'll give you guys a call when I'm over there. Um, 
Had but, you been to Ukraine before the war? Yes, I was in Ukraine, I think, in 2006, but don't quote yeah. me. It might be 2005. I'd have to look at my passport. Yeah, my exposure has been somewhat limited, but I knew. Right, I remember it's one of the most beautiful, one of the most yes. friendly countries imaginable. I would hate to see it through the eyes that you see now. Well, when I was there, I saw a lot of structures that just will never be rebuilt, yeah. and it's, it is a beautiful city, and it's worse now. I yeah. mean, from what I've been told from the, my friends that are over there, it's it's again the scorch earth, the, the scorch earth mentality of the Russian army is is you just it's you destroy everything. Yeah. You know. Yeah, we, I'm going to philosophize very very quickly. We tend to think of Ukraine as what we see on the pictures. Mm -hmm. We tend to forget about Ukraine as being this idyllic country where people were extremely friendly. They were yep. very very much like us. Yeah, very uh, agricultural, so, yeah. very yeah. agricultural, yeah. beautiful yeah. fields, agriculture, yeah. the farmers, uh, very much like us. Very yeah. uh, very friendly. Uh, yeah. When I well, when I was over there during the war, it was very friendly. Yeah, I mean, um, of course. A little bit more different, you know, but yeah. prior to being over there, just a, a, a blessed yeah. place to be in. Yeah. And, 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 and again, I'm just extending what I do. You know, people say, why are you going there? Well, I'm doing the same thing here that I would be doing over there is helping people that are being displaced uh, get a place to, and, 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 and I, that's my expertise. I mean, there's a lot of things I can't do, <laughs> but there's some things I can do, and that's my expertise is helping people get uh, a place and, and, and start over, um, you know, do those kind of things. And, and, and that's what I, and I, and I do over there like I do here. We network with everybody. We get everybody involved, networking, different countries involved, and um, I've been blessed uh, to, to be able to do that. Th that's where my talents lie. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, I don't have many talents. I couldn't write like John does. I wish I could because I got tons of stories, but I don't have the discipline that you have to write. Um, would love to sit down and be able to do that stuff. I love reading. I love doing all that stuff, but that's where my talents lie is bringing people together, and that's what we do here in Martinsburg. This community is 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 phenomenal the people uh uh you know you, you get and people are like like the like the jackie's erica's house the police department you know you call them and they step right up you know i know a lot of people may complain but i mean they step right up and they're there and they do whatever they can they go out of their way i mean i called these people on the weekend they were off i mean they could easily said hey call me monday you know they stepped up they got ball rolling they got things taken care of uh, it was it was amazing, and that's the stuff we do. Uh, I'm 24/7, uh, seven days a week, and, and you know, and people will say to me, "When are you going to rest?" Actually, I I'm more relaxed when I'm in Ukraine than I am here, because <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to know. Okay, the enemy's dropping in bombs and rockets. Okay, I know where the enemy is, and I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. But here, it's like you know, you got to be careful. So actually, I'm. I'll be honest with you, I'm more comfortable in that situation than I do what I do every day. When do you leave, Tim? Do you know? It would, be, it would probably, if I fly out, it would probably be around the 23rd of March, fly out and then come back uh, probably the week after Easter. And who runs the show in the, at the mission when you're out of town? The team runs it. The team runs it. They, they, they take care of it. Uh, the board uh, steps up and, and covers me, and they, they did it for three and a half weeks, almost four weeks last time I was gone. They did uh -huh. a great job. And uh, the staff there, the volunteers, um, it's, it's, it's a, a great opportunity. All right, to wrap it up, how do you help the mission? Yes, go online, hit the, hit the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission button, hit uh, donate, and please, uh, our, uh, our finances have been stretched. Hit, hit that donate button today, $5, $10, whatever you can give. If you can volunteer, we need volunteers real bad, especially up at the Hope House in Berkeley Springs. We need women volunteers up there, especially if you're from the area. That would be great. But uh, Merry Christmas to you all, you guys, and we, we've got a busy season, and God bless you guys for what you do and, uh, and being a big uh, influence in the community and a blessing. It, it, it's so important. Good to see you again, Tim. Good to see you guys. Tim Greeno from the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission at 932.